Beijing attracted worldwide attention after images from military parade rehearsals revealed a massive unmanned underwater vehicle, UUV, shared by X-platform user Feisu 6. The system, previously unseen from the People's Liberation Army Navy, plan, immediately drew comparisons to Russia's Poseidon nuclear-powered torpedo, raising speculation about China's rapidly expanding undersea capabilities. Analysts suggest that the unveiling reflects both technological progress and strategic signaling, hinting at Beijing's growing ambitions to diversify its naval deterrent and challenge existing power dynamics in the Indo-Pacific. The vehicle identified in parade footage appears to be an extra-large unmanned underwater vehicle, XLUUV, designated AJX-002, although reports also mention the presence of even larger variants. Estimates place the AJX-002 at approximately 18 to 20 meters in length with a diameter around 1.5 meters. Its torpedo-like hull is paired with pumped jet propulsion, lifting lugs for crane deployment, and modular features that facilitate transport and assembly. The parade rehearsal images revealed at least six units, four AJX-002 models and two larger variants, roughly twice the diameter of the standard model. This indicates a program of significant scale and suggests that Beijing may be moving toward mass production rather than showcasing a one-off prototype. The use of pump jet propulsion is noteworthy. These systems are generally efficient at higher speeds, allowing rapid underwater transit, but they are often less effective at lower speeds. This raises questions about the AJX-002's power source. Observers noted the absence of a ventilation mast, which would be necessary for extended diesel-powered operation. The implication is that the vehicle likely relies on nuclear propulsion, enabling extended endurance and high-speed operation over long distances. The size, silhouette, and apparent capabilities immediately drew comparisons to Russia's Poseidon, a nuclear-capable autonomous torpedo developed as a strategic deterrent capable of bypassing missile defenses to strike coastal cities or carrier groups. Despite the high level of attention, operational history of the AJX-002 remains limited. There is no verified record of testing or active deployment. However, open-source intelligence indicates that China has steadily invested in autonomous undersea systems over the past decade, from smaller drones like the HSU-001 to experimental research vessels such as the Blue Whale. Some reports suggest that the AJX-002 may carry a disposable nuclear reactor capable of maintaining cruising speeds above 30 knots for up to 200 hours. After reaching the end of its nuclear-powered phase, the vehicle could potentially rely on battery power to continue limited operations. Chinese nuclear scientist Gu Jian, in the Journal of Unmanned Underwater Systems, emphasized that there are substantial differences between China's UUV project and Russia's Poseidon. According to Guo, Beijing's system may not be intended as a doomsday weapon but rather as a flexible platform for reconnaissance or precision strike missions. Russia's Poseidon, in contrast, was revealed in 2018 and reportedly can carry a nuclear warhead of up to 100 megatons. Poseidon is explicitly designed as a strategic deterrent capable of threatening both coastal cities and naval task forces, effectively serving as a second strike weapon in the event of nuclear conflict. China's AJX-002 appears to occupy a different niche. While it may be nuclear capable, Current reporting suggests that its intended roles could include conventional combat, long-endurance surveillance, and precision strike operations. Some analysts caution that although China frames the system as a versatile tool rather than a weapon of mass destruction, the technical capability to adapt it for nuclear missions remains feasible. This dual-use potential reflects a broader trend in modern military technology, where platforms can serve multiple roles depending on strategic need. The implications of China's new UUV program are significant, both militarily and geopolitically. A nuclear-capable AJX-002 would add a new asymmetric layer to China's deterrence posture, complicating U.S. and Allied naval planning in the Indo-Pacific. Conventional forces would face increased pressure to develop anti-submarine strategies capable of detecting and countering these autonomous platforms, particularly given their potential speed and endurance. Strategically, 
the system represents Beijing's intention to diversify beyond traditional deterrents such as ballistic missiles and nuclear submarines, signaling a commitment to challenging U.S. maritime dominance and expanding China's influence across critical maritime corridors. The scale of the unveiling also suggests a serious commitment to production. The presence of multiple units at parade rehearsals implies that China is not merely experimenting with prototypes but preparing to field operationally significant numbers of these vehicles. The development of such systems aligns with broader Chinese military modernization priorities, including enhancing precision strike capability, expanding autonomous systems, and leveraging technological innovation to offset conventional military asymmetries in the Pacific theater. The AJX-002 could potentially threaten high-value targets such as aircraft carrier strike groups, amphibious task forces, and critical coastal infrastructure, forcing adversaries to reconsider deployment strategies and anti-submarine warfare tactics. From a technological perspective, the AJX-002 demonstrates China's growing mastery of complex engineering challenges. Nuclear propulsion for unmanned platforms, combined with long-range autonomy and stealthy pump jet design, represents a substantial leap forward for the plan. Analysts also highlight the significance of modular construction, which would allow easier transport, maintenance, and rapid deployment. By integrating nuclear propulsion with battery-based operations, the system could sustain extended missions in contested waters, making it a formidable component of China's evolving naval toolkit. While the AJX-002 shares superficial similarities with Russia's Poseidon, its conceptual underpinnings appear distinct. Rather than serving primarily as a strategic deterrent designed to inflict mass destruction, China's vehicle seems oriented toward flexible application in surveillance, conventional strike, and potentially limited nuclear missions. This versatility may enable Beijing to employ the system in a wide array of scenarios, from intelligence gathering to precision targeting, without committing to a catastrophic escalation profile. Nevertheless, Western analysts caution that as development progresses, nuclear adaptation remains within the realm of possibility, keeping potential adversaries alert to emerging threats. Ultimately, the appearance of the AJX-002 in parade rehearsals sends a strong message. Beijing is accelerating its undersea warfare capabilities, signaling both technological maturity and strategic intent. Whether positioned as a countermeasure to Russia's Poseidon or as a standalone asset within China's autonomous warfare program, the vehicle underscores the country's ambition to reshape naval dynamics in the Indo-Pacific. The combination of nuclear propulsion, extended endurance, and modular design highlights a commitment to fielding disruptive technologies capable of altering strategic calculations, challenging existing deterrence structures, and expanding China's influence across the maritime domain. As global attention turns toward China's naval modernization, the AJX-002 exemplifies the intersection of advanced engineering, strategic signaling, and the ongoing evolution of undersea warfare. Its emergence illustrates not only Beijing's technological progress but also its willingness to project power in innovative ways. The program's long-term implications for regional security, deterrence stability, and naval operational planning remain profound reflecting a broader trend in which autonomous, long-endurance platforms are transforming the future of naval conflict.